There's a rumbling, like distant thunder. Stampeding buffalo. The professional hunters, the lionesses, are at work. It's a big opportunity for the teenagers to prove themselves. The strategy for hunting buffalo is different to antelope. Buffalo are like tanks, well armored. The lions must attack from behind. Buffalo is strong and can wheel around, slashing with his horns, lashing out with his hooves. He tramples and kicks one of the yearlings. The pride closes in but the teenagers aren't strong enough. A horn catches the elder sister in the groin. The lion's desperate attempts to hang on to the buffalo become increasingly dangerous and futile. One by one, the lions peel off. Teeth and claws aren't enough. It takes experience as well as courage and knowing when to back down. Rumps bleeding, but heads held high. The buffalo head back to their herd. Following them, unwilling to give up, are the three brothers. The rest of the pride leaves them to it. The three brothers follow the buffalo herd all night out of the pride's territory. But after a few hours, they've lost the buffalo and their pride. Pride's two dominant males return from defending their kingdom to find their family depleted and injured. The mothers are fine. They backed off early in the hunt. Four juveniles are missing, three brothers and a yearling. One of the other adolescents' leg is bleeding. Injuries are common. One of the adult males has even cut his eye, but that's minor. But his daughter, the teenager's elder sister and teacher, is badly hurt. It's her left hind leg. She's fortunate to have the pride. Solitary cats, like leopards, starve when they can't hunt. Most wounds heal quickly. There's no blood, 
and she'll probably recover with a few days rest. But the trampled yearling is not so lucky. A moment of teenage bravado has caused fatal internal injuries. Courage alone is no match for a half ton of buffalo. The knight's injury list grows longer. The lost and found cub can barely walk. 